Good evening, everyone, and welcome to another round of sound. This is the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown. I'm Bob Pompiani. Lots to tackle tonight. We'll get into baseball and yet another new proposal about when they may begin playing and what it may look like. Also, hockey, it's a big week of decisions that need to be made with the NHL. But the number one topic tonight on the number one Cochrane Sports Showdown will still be NFL, draft aftermath, and some criticism from an NFL network host on Ben Roethlisberger. Here's your panel. We have Rich Walsh joining us from home, socially distancing, and Andrew Filipponi doing the same over at 93.7 The Fan. So this week, Ben Roethlisberger gets even more criticism nationally, guys, which I don't understand. And this came from Nate Burleson on the NFL Network. Quote, Big Ben orchestrated them not taking a quarterback. They should have gone QB, but look what happened. A couple of drafts ago with Mason Rudolph, Big Ben wasn't going to mentor him. Big Ben influencing the moves the Steelers make. To that, I would say, okay, well, guess what? They still drafted Mason Rudolph. And before that, they still drafted Josh Dobbs. It seems to me, Rich, it's pushing an agenda with no facts. Your take. You know, we know Ben Roethlisberger wasn't too happy when they drafted Mason Rudolph a couple years ago. I don't think... Ben was pushing for the Steelers not to draft the quarterback. I actually believe Kevin Colbert and Mike Tomlin that they're pretty happy with their quarterback room right now. And they think of Ben Roethlisberger uh, happy, healthy, 100% healthy. Maybe this year might be better than a couple years ago. Uh, he's motivated, they were saying. Uh, so I, I don't think Ben orchestrated anything. And I don't know at this point, he's 38 years old, if Kevin Colbert would listen to Ben. Plus, they had the 49th pick. What kind of franchise quarterback are you going to get right there? <laughs> well, the NFL Network, uh, Bob, has a history with Roethlisberger. Remember, Ian Rappaport had him traded to the Arizona Cardinals <laughs> a few years ago. So there's no love <laughs> loss between NFL Network and Ben. I know that because Ben has told me that uh, before. Look, Roethlisberger did influence their draft. It wasn't because he went in there and said, here's my uh, draft power rankings, Bob. These are the guys that I want you to pick. These are the guys I like. He influenced their draft because he's a 38-year-old quarterback with two years left on his deal. So their pick, Chase Claypool, what they did in free agency signing Eric Ebron, those were with Ben Roethlisberger in mind, as they should be, because you've got a quarterback that's near the end of his career. But I just don't like the fact that guys come up with these takes which are unsubstantiated. It was the same media that went after Ben, accusing him of being the reason Antonio Brown decided to leave and the way he left. And they sided with Brown, and yet there were no re retractions there. All right, uh, speaking about that, I want to get on to it since I segue to his name, Antonio Brown. It's out there now. Andrew, he now Snapchatted his uh, picture on uh, Baltimore Ravens uniform. He's done this before, before yep. he goes and sabotages all teams that he goes to. Uh, I'm just curious <laughs> your take about, because uh, the GM down there did not rule it out, but he didn't endorse it either. Yep. If he goes there, helpful or hurtful? I think it'd be a great move for Baltimore. I, I think they should do it actually, provided that Antonio Brown doesn't expect to get paid uh, like Julio Jones, if he's willing to swallow his pride and play for more of the love of the game and reestablish himself as a great player, I think it's a perfect team for him. Uh, the Ravens have great structure. They've dealt with some of these kind of uh, very inflammatory, polarizing players before. They stole Marcus Peters, a guy that had a bad track record with both the Chiefs and the Rams. And, Bob, I've been watching the last dance, okay? I got that on the brain, the Jordan thing. That's what the Bulls did with Dennis Rodman. I mean, if you took the conservative way out, they would have never brought the worm to Chicago. So they're trying to chase the Chiefs, and they're trying to score points on the Steelers' defense. So I think it's worth the risk for Baltimore. That's one of the few places that he could go to. I think he's just putting that out there, hoping that someone is going to try to sign him. But I think one thing with this year, and we, there's so many questions out there right now. Are we going to have a shortened season? Or is the season going to start on time? And it's the same amount of questions with Antonio Brown. If they would bring him in, how many games would he be suspended for? We know that he's going to be suspended for something, right? Um, so I, I don't think a team would take a chance on him right there. I don't see him playing this hey, year Richie, just because of Richie, everything we're going I, I, for through right now. Well, yeah. you say that, but uh, if you go back, Bob and Richie, if you rewind the tape of what Goodell said about Antonio Brown at the Super Bowl, 
It was almost like he was like a shepherd, like a big brother who wanted to take care of yeah. his sibling that had gotten in trouble at he's, school. He's and, doing and that he because might... it was required of him to do it. He doesn't mean it, I believe. And number two, uh, you're talking well, about a Baltimore Ravens a... team that went, Andrew, and got rid of Ray Rice. They stuck by him, found the videotape. <laughs> you think they're going to bring in a domestic violator like Antonio well, Brown may well be because it's still stuff to be proven, right or wrong. It's well, out there. He's, he's been accused well, of rape. He's been accused of other things. Well, the, the, the Ray Rice thing, I, I do believe, is relevant here. Um, and, and, that, and that from the Ravens' standpoint, what their owner has said about at-risk players with, with domestic issues or with, in that regard, that would be uh, a potential uh, barrier in signing them. But what I'm telling you is I've got the Kansas City Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes, and I'm trying to win a Super Bowl. And last I checked, the Ravens don't have any good wide receivers. So from a football standpoint, I think it makes a ton of sense for them. And the point I was trying to make with Goodell is I don't think he's going to suspend him for like eight games. I think it's going to be a slap on the wrist suspension. Wow. They did draft two, court, two wide receivers. They drafted two wide receivers, too. They could use another wide receiver. And I think the one PR move here with the Ravens would be family. He could play with his cousin. But I would think that the right. Ravens would offer him some type of veteran minimum kind of deal. That's the only way I think anyone signs him, if he's willing to take veteran minimum, maybe an incentive-laden deal or something like All the more reason like why he won't be productive, because incentivizing means he needs the ball. If he doesn't get the ball, guess what? He doesn't get the incentives. He will destroy them, Andrew. And, Rich, that's just my opinion. Well, I don't he's disagree not there with yet, you, Bob. so he hasn't just think yeah, whoever yeah. signs him. All right, well, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> always good. For, you know, I just we got amazing. a delay issue here. So. <laughs> when Andrew, when when his name comes up, we just constantly gravitate to it for whatever reason. It's just crazy. I guess maybe a lack of having games to talk about or whatever else. All right, we're just getting started. We have a lot coming on. Uh, next will be more quarterbacks to talk about. Again, somewhat tied to Pittsburgh and those who have not been here and won't be here. We'll get into that. But first, I want to remind you that it's exciting when a team moves into a new building. That's certainly true with the team in number one Cochrane Hyundai South Hills and their spacious new facility, even though they only move less than a mile up the road. Right now, for a limited time, get special grand opening offers in both sales and service. It's the new number one Cochran Hyundai South Hills, now conveniently located at 3220 West Liberty Avenue. The number one Cochran Sports Showdown is brought to you by number one Cochran. Go one better. And by Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield. Have a greater hand in your health. 